Similarly, we have the statement of Abu Usama concerning Walid ibn Uqba. Al Walid ibn Uqba, a companion from the companions of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, here Abu Usama refers to Walid ibn Uqba as a fasiq. He refers to him as a fasiq. He mentions concerning Al Walid. So we hear him mentioning Walid ibn Uqba and that which took place in a narration that is authentic that uh, he came out to Fajr on an occasion and he was intoxicated and he led Salatul Fajr for Raka'at. That though, it should be mentioned, Ikhwan, is uh, a narration that indicates that it occurred. Abu Usama mentioned that he used to come out to Fajr drunk as though this was an ongoing occurrence. And that which the narration mentioned is that on an occasion he came out drunk. He came out intoxicated. And then he mentioned that this has an indication of the fact that the companions prayed behind him even though he was a fasiq. Even though he was a fasiq. Then after this statement... After the statement, he takes the statement back uh, in uh, a second recording of his. He mentions... Again, Ikhwan, we hear the same type of taraju and the same type of statement that comes from Abu al-Hassan. I seek refuge in Allah from the statement and so on and so forth. We hear him mentioning that by Allah, wallahi, I didn't know that the man was a companion until this very moment. 
Wallahi, I didn't know that the man was a companion until this very moment. And again, Ikhwan, this type of oath, something that we've become familiar with uh, from the brother. Listen again, Ikhwan, to the original statement. There is a companion by the name of Walid ibn Uqba. There is a companion by the name of Walid ibn Uqba. And just to re, just to, to fortify that, Radiallahu anhu. anhu. There is a companion by the name of Walid ibn Uqba. Radiallahu anhu. Yet still in the recant, Wallahi. I didn't know that the companion or that this man was a companion until this very moment.